Hey everybody, welcome back to my Rogue Tech campaign. So the last episode, if we look back at our mech base here, we spent the next last episode updating our main lance. So now we've got a Orion, a Warhammer, a Cataract, and a Catapult. Uh, and our second lance is going to be the Black Knight, Wolverine, Kentaro, and Hunchback. We still need to rejiggy stuff on these three mechs, but right now we're going to put our main uh, lance into combat. The war between... Uh, the Free Worlds League and Magistry of Canopus has ended. So attacking Free Worlds League targets at this point is kind of a waste of time, but we want to see how our main lance is going to perform. So let's go to the Command Center. We're going to go to Contracts. I've already kind of picked out a contract here. We're going to do um, Take the Bait here. It's a four skull mission. I think that should probably be good for what we've got going on here. Good to test out how we're working out. And we're going to go for Full Salvage. I know we're a little bit low on cash, but it is the beginning of the month, so we should be just fine. So the Warhammer, I'm going to move down to Flatliner. Catapult is going to stay on Bane Skater. The Cataract is going to be moving to Height, and the Orion is going to be moving to the head uh, of the Lance with uh, Ground Zero. We're going to deploy. It says we might require a little more firepower than this, but I think we're probably going to be fine. All right, here we go. Four mechs on the ground. So we're up against pirates today. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm thinking there's probably going to be reinforcements. Uh, I don't see any in the map yet, but I'm sure they will be coming. So we're going to just reserve here. Yeah, here comes the reinforcements. So what we're going to do... That's a turn three. We're going to reserve back to turn one to see if anything else moves up. So I'm thinking probably what our best bet is. 40 ton mech. So we're going to make a left hand turn here and we're going to head towards these guys over here. We could continue straight forward to see what's down here, but I'm thinking if we can get locks on these guys and destroy them first then we can just finish these guys off afterwards. So height, let's see how far we can move with the cataract here, or cataphract. I'm gonna go up along this way, I think. Hi, Skipper, full speed, no target. All right, looks like we can only see one guy there. Looks like it's gonna be a free turn of movement, so we got an 85 tonner coming in. Receiving you. Roger. So I'm wondering if that main lance is an assault lance. Okay, let's get the Warhammer up here. So we've all got pretty good movement overall for heavy mechs. So we got another lock here, 65 tonner. We should engage next turn. The Orion's not really that fast, but I didn't expect it to be. I'm interested to see how accurate it is though. I think we'll find out here in one second. Okay, so they're trying to make contact, but we're going to make contact first. So we're going to move forward. Going to take my move first here. This guy is pretty evasive, very low armor. So we're, we've got good chances to hit. We're just going to fire with everything. So overall, I'm actually really happy with these percentage chances to hit here. I think I'm happy with converting the LRM uh, 20 down to an LRM 15 here too to get the extra damage. But the arms, it's nice how high chances the arms are. That's much higher than the uh, the PPCs, which in the past have been the most reliable. So that should be it for this guy, I think. Just about. Hit, Commander. Well, he'll die in a second anyway. So against a non-fortified mech or non-braced mech. This is going to do really well. Alright, so let's move... Um, I'm receiving you. Somebody with, that doesn't really have ammo that we don't have to worry about. So I'm going to walk up here, I think. I'm going. And we're just going to turn off the LRM for now. And we're just going to fire straight on this guy. CT. Goodbye. So we got another sensor lock over here. Hostile eliminated. 60. So two 60s and a 65. 
So this guy, yeah, I'm thinking that that's probably an assault lance down there. So we're going to move forward. We're going to try and stay as hidden as possible from the enemies at the moment. I'm thinking we'll have full engagement next turn. But we just don't want to be like right in their line of sight yet. So I want to see how well this uh, catapult performs too with double arch ultra tens and then medium pulses. Alright, let's see if we can get some eyes on the enemy here. We can from over here. So the question is, is do we move forward and let them shoot at us? Let's reserve and see what they do. On it. I don't want to have three mechs firing at me right away. And let's take it back to turn one. So that was a dragon. I think we've got a bunch of dragon parts too. Alright. No big deal. Try aiming next time. See what you get. So we've all got really, really good evasion in these mechs. We've got uh, each mech is mech warrior has got the uh, plus three evasion, so so quick draw. I know we got lots of quick draw parts. You need me to hold still for you? Apparently he does. Alright, height. You're going first. Yeah, we got some really good movement in this uh, cataphract here. So we're going to come in, we're not going to move right in close to them, but we're going to move back far enough. And we're going to fire with everything here. It's a little hot, but I expected this mech to be a little hot. It's not really perfect. Actually, we don't have multi-target. You know what? That was really stupid putting two tags in here because uh, I don't have multi-target for this pilot. But you know what? At least we have a double chance to hit with the tag. That guy's in trouble now. So he'll go down this turn, probably. Alright, let's move Vein Skater next, because I want to see how these Ultra 10s are going to work. So let's move in beside Height. Try and get as much movement as possible. Four Chevrons of Evasion isn't bad. And th really good chances to hit. Bye bye There's some pain for you. Okay. So, Flatliner, let's get you up. I want to make this guy unstable if I can. Can we get better chances to see him here? Not really. It's the same chance to hit, really. So I'm going to move back here. And we're going to uh, initiate or reinitiate the LRM 20. And we're going to fire straight on this guy. That guy went down below. I don't know why he went down below. But this guy doesn't have really that much armor. So those are our destabilization PPCs and you can see how well they work. So now he's completely unstable. So let's get ground zero up here. Once again we're just hanging back. We don't want to get too close to the edge here where these guys might have a chance to see us. And we're going to fire everything straight out. Goodbye. So if these guys had full armor it might be a bit might, bit of a different story, but I'm thinking that we're performing pretty well here, pretty well here overall. So we're going to reserve. <clears throat> and we'll reserve again. Reserving action. So we don't know of anybody else over here. Let's get height down there. You're going to be able to see that guy. You'll be able to see both from here. So let's go up and see what we're up against here. Then we'll decide which side we want to take on here. So we've got a Marauder 2C. Nice. Clan PPCs. I want those. And then what do we got here? Catapult 1A. Just a standard catapult with LRM 15. So let's try and take this guy out first. I'm kind of glad I put the heat bank back in this mech because uh, we definitely need it. Okay, so that guy's tagged. I await your command. Let's move forward with Flatliner here. Hmm. The now the question is, is do we multi-target? Got lots of resolve right now. 
Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and take the leg off this Marauder. Primitive. Those look like some good leg hits to me. Okay, let's see this here. Down to 68. All right. Waiting for orders. Can we see the other guy? We can't. So let's get up here. Let's move. I might want to just hold off. Actually, you know what? Let's do another offensive push. And we're going to target the leg again, but I'm going to leave one ultra off. Did that hit twice? Down to one. Are you serious? Commander. Wow. Let's move. Okay, we're gonna multi-target. Gonna fire on this guy. And this guy. And B is gonna get, we're gonna turn the PPCs off. B is gonna get one of the clan LRM-15s. Cause I think that'll be enough to take his leg off. Got it. And we'll fire these guys on A. Hoping for a head hit here. Unlikely, but you never know. And a straight side shot. That should take his leg off, I think. Yeah, there it goes. That's a hit. So our next job is to shoot the other leg off. Not going after the pilots. By. So we're just going to walk down. Make sure we don't turn. To, so our enemy can get a back shot on us. We're just going to walk down here. How much does the leg have? So we're going to fire at the leg. I think the two PPCs should probably do it if we both hit. Oof. Nope, not quite. Here come some missiles. That's actually not bad for having like seven chevrons of evasion. You did a pretty good chance hitting there. Pretty good job hitting that is. Down to 86. So let's bring Height down here. Height's going to engage the catapult. And we're going to leave off the small and fire everything else. Is he unstable? Almost. Okay. Uh, flatliner. Let's, since we got the double PPCs on you, let's move down here and see what our chances to hit are. We're pretty hot here. Um, what do we need again here? 86. 82 for the PPCs, eh? So let's go up to the leg, see the LRM-20 off. Let's leave this medium off. We're gonna go with a PPC and a small, I think. If we hit with both, then we'll take that leg. There we go, nice. Oh, so it's not. A, oh, right. That's not. That's right. It's a heavy lure mission. I thought. It, I thought there was going to be a whole lance there, but uh, that's a bonus. All right, let's use the ultras on this guy and see what we get. Wow, nice. And that's it for that. Well, that was a really quick mission. It was done really, really well. So now I got a chance to get two ER PPCs, clan. And I think I'll take both. But we want to see what else he's got too. If he's got like Clan Pharaoh or Ender Steel, that's also a good possibility. But those Clan PPCs are going to be nice if we put them in the um, in the uh, Warhammer or even in the Cataract. A lot of them are 2C parts, which would be nice, but Clan we only got one Clan ER PPC. Let's drop it in. Uh, Clan Pharaoh definitely want that. Uh, what else here? I think Clan Endo. I think we're going to go with those three. Medium Clan Lasers, regular PPC. Yeah. Oh, this is nice too, though. 50 damage times 4 for 60 tons. Damage fall off, 25 damage variance. But it's 16 tons, and right now I don't have a platform to carry it. Because you need a, a lot of ammo in that thing. You're going to need like at least six tons of ammo. 80 damage for this PPC though. I think we're going to keep the PPC. 
Let's confirm this, see what we get here. So one catapult part, cicada part, dragon part, three more two c parts, excellent. We got the clan medium lasers, nice. That's a good bonus. Um, our melee, which we don't really need. Gauss ammo, so that was a pretty good run. So now in the mechs that we do have regular ferro and endo steel, we can swap it out for the clan versions only because it, it uh, takes up less space so now we can have uh, better variation in our builds. Those are really kind of a necessity. Okay so it's only uh, almost 7,000 in repairs which is nothing. So with the clan Pharaoh and the clan Endosteel we can swap out some of our uh, that out with some of our mechs here. Let's just go to bays real quick. So some of our uh, frontline mechs I don't think they, see, this guy's got Clan Endosteel, uh, but we can put uh, Clan Pharaoh in. Uh, the Catapult, we can swap that around too to, to Clan Endosteel. Um, Orion's both got Clan. I don't know Cataphract if what it's got, but Stealth Armor. I don't think we have actually Endosteel in this guy, but we could put it in. Along with the uh, Clan ER PPC to save some weight and swap out this PPC. But that's for another uh, another time. So let's have a look really quick here if there's any missions that we can pull off real fast. Let's get our guys back here. We're going to need some money to work with. Um, so let's go to the, I think we can probably pull off a second quick mission here. So let's go to uh, the command center. We're going to need cash for the end of the month. That's the other thing. And let's just see here if there's another four skull that we could do. Uh, Corporate Secrets is a rescue mission. Recovery in Martian terrain. Um, dust real spy for rival corporation. Yeah, let's do this one. It's four skull. Let's drop in. Uh, should we go for salvage or should we go for cash? Ah, let's go. So let's go for salvage. It's going to cost us about that much, little less than that to uh, drop. But we're going to use the same lance and just go back. Yeah, I know we we got enough firepower. All right, here we go. Four mechs in the ground, Martian terrain. Where do we got to go? Up there. Shouldn't be so bad. If I know this map, like I know this map, I think we got two lances, probably one guarding the base, and then a second one coming from this side over here once we take the base or do the recovery, but we'll see what happens. All right, so we're just going to start sprinting forward. And, oh, this is not the map I thought it was. Hmm, so I guess we should go up this ramp. Let's get height moving here. Okay, no contacts. Might just be turrets up there too, right? Alright, keep moving forward. Okay, no contacts. They could be down here too. Looks like somebody's moving. Turn one. Someone moving on turn turn four, really? Standing by. Let's reserve. It's nice having my main mech moving moving on turn uh, three. Okay, here they come. What do we got here? Power armor? We haven't encountered one of those in a really long time. I can't even highlight the thing here. What else do we got? 100 ton mech, 100 ton mech, and 75. Okay, that's actually not bad. Can we actually target this guy? Can I actually get in to target him? No, we can't. We can see him, but we can't target him. That's fine. We're gonna reserve, see what these other guys do. On it. Wow. Okay. A jumping Marauder 2, we need to be careful about that. 
All right, so we're just going to walk it. We're going to stay in the swirls here, or the uh, whirlwinds. going to fire straight on this guy up here. Yeah, look at that. Look at how evasive he is and how, what it's doing to our uh, targeting here. So we're going to fire everything. Trying to apply a little early damage to him, a little early stability. Okay, there we go. So that's going to make it easier for everybody else. So I'm going to march Vein Skater up next. We can probably knock his ass on the ground. Woo. 80 damage. So that's probably a clan PPC, so it's some kind of clan mech anyway. So let's sprint it. And we're going to get into the dust devils here. We're going to unload straight on this Marauder 2. I, I don't want to mess around with these guys. I want to get them done and out of the way with. Being in a heavy mech, the last thing you want is for... Uh, to enter into sustained combat with assault mechs. Okay, Flatliner. Uh, let's keep you in the Whirlwind as well. Just going to move forward. Gonna fire straight on this guy and let's look for we're at lasers only here. Does this guy have a uh, XL engine? Triple XL. Um Fusion Core 400, he's got lots of good stuff in here. Um AC10 Ultra Double PPC. So let's go for the Let's go for here. We want to get rid of them. There we go. Nice. So one hundred time mech we don't have to worry about. Next destroyed. Here comes the power armor. His piece of him still sliding down the hill over here. <laughs> Somebody's not happy. As reserve. Let's let their heavy go first. Okay, a black knight. All right. Stop. You're just embarrassing yourself. He's not. Don't don't say that. Just don't. You're just gonna get yourself killed. You say stuff like that, man. Okay, height. Let's get some good uh, evasion going. And what's our chance to hit on this guy? Pretty lousy, but we're gonna fire everything. Maybe we get connect with one of the two tags. Okay, so we got a tag on him now. That hit something good. I know I shouldn't be firing at him. I should really be firing at the uh, Black Knight, but um, every little thing that every little uh, mech and vehicle that we can get rid of at this point, one less thing shooting at us is good. So let's move to. Can we get this guy with the ultras? We can. And this guy with the pulses, I think. So we're going to move into here. Double time. Let's go. Going to multi-target. Going to go against this guy and uh, this guy. And B will be the ultras and A with the pulses. Firing on multiple so torso gone on that guy. Okay, I'm liking those uh, ultras on that guy now. Okay, let's move it up. Staying in the whirlwinds. And we're going to multi-target. We're going to fire against the Black Knight. And if we can actually target this guy. Come on. I know it's down here somewhere. You can target this guy. I know you can. There we go. All right, so that's exactly how we're going to fire this. We're going to leave out the small laser. I don't think we need it in this case. We want to save a little bit of heat. So good uh, instability on this guy. Now my main mech can go after him. And these missiles, dead fire ammo should kill this guy. Yeah, that's it for him. Do the math, Chief. One less target. One less target. All right, so I cannot get all the way up there, but I can get far enough that I can actually open up on this guy on the hill. Hopefully enough that we can knock him down, but we're going to fire with... Wow, overheating fast here. Let's leave off one LRM. Fire everything else. 
Left torso gone, and this might be enough to kill. Well, enough to knock down anyway. Three or four, two or four when he hits the ground. Gonna be going on turn one next time. We can do some head aiming next time. Here comes the hundred tonner. No idea what it is. What's up, boss? And that is okay. Can we see him from here? Well, at least we'll know what he is when I move here. Another Marauder too. Oh Christ, it's the evil one. Um, okay, so we do this. Taking these off, putting this on, and how much is the... He's got like nothing in the CT. Let's try for a headshot. Let's leave one of the LRMs off and just fire these. Yeah. At least our heat's back down to normal. I, hope we can salvage that. I do too. I hope we can get a knockdown on this other guy. That's what I hope. Um, question is... Okay, we're going to have a hard time seeing them no matter where we go. Actually, we better move farther rather than moving into the Dust Devil because I want to get more evasion going. So let's hope we hit with a couple PPCs here. Let's leave this off. Let's leave this off and we'll fire everything else. We're looking for instability on them now. Damn, that was two misses. Almost no instability. Alright, height. Let's get up here. Um, we're going to need to close a little bit with him, I think. It's not bad there. Actually, much better chance to hit here. So let's move into here. Going to fire on him. Should be able to hit him with everything. Should have moved him first because we had the tags on him, but... Okay, we got one tag. Now let's see if Vayne Skater can get in. Actually, those are pretty good chances to hit. That should be enough to, to knock him over, too, I think. If we hit with at least three of these ACs. Let's leave a pulse laser off and fire with the rest. That was four hits, I think. Not enough. Almost, though. Wow, that's lucky. Okay, is he moving now? Yeah. Okay, that was a smart choice. Commander. Let's move... Let's reserve first. Then let's move... Height. Uh, yep. Should we just kill this guy? I mean... Roger that, Commander. Be nice to have Marauder 2s, though. So let's leave off... Two medium pulses. And the small. Fire with everything else. Wow. At least we hit the tags, though, eh? <laughs> wow, that was bad. Alright, let's see if we can destabilize this guy. Let's leave the pulse off. Firing the ACs. Pretty close. There's no way we're going to be getting anywhere near where this guy's going to be, so we're going to sprint down here. Work on getting back up the ramp while we fire our missiles at this guy. And hopefully we can do some instability on him. A little bit, not much. Okay, ground zero. I'm not even going to move. Let's see what we got here. Actually, those are pretty good chances to hit. So we're just going to unload everything. And hopefully we knock him down. No. Enough to make him unstable, though. Not quite enough for the knockdown. Oh, are you going to melee? 125. It's a good thing we got lots of armor. Waiting for orders. Let's finish this guy up. Want to play those reindeer games? We can play reindeer games, too. Come on, knock him down. Nope. Um. I await your command. On my way. Gonna go for a knockdown here. So let's leave off those and just go with the missiles. I think. At least we're not hitting them from the back. 
Oh, okay. Cool. Confirm. Can you get in there? You can. Double time. And that should be it. Done. And then Bane Skater will just fortify. The asset has been secured. And That's it. That was fast too. So lots of Marauder 2 parts on the ground. Now I know we picked up a couple of them before. I'm pretty sure we got like one or two parts sitting around or something. We'll find out here in a second. So we lost a little bit of money on this drop, but that's okay. The biggest damage was the catapult. He took a shot in the in the uh, torso here, which um, I mean we we had lots of armor there, so we made it okay. But still, 125 points could be deadly. So Marauder 2s, we do have a bunch of parts here. So this is the 5D, which has got laser and ballistic. And the 6A has got, well, we've got two 6A parts as well. So we can decide which one we want. It's got two ballistic. What's the difference between these two? This is a Wolf's Dragoons update, upgrade. Incredibly strong engine with composite structure and reactive plating to bring its temper. This is the one with the, uh, yeah, the heavy PPCs and the Ultra 20. And this is just the regular one with the PPCs. So I think we want this guy. So we're going to take four pieces of that. We've got Ultra 20s already. This PPC, we've got those already. As much as I want the Armor NSS, I think I want to get a Marauder 2 more than anything. Heat bank is nice. Um, but yeah, uh, that's going to be Marauder 2. And there it is, folks. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> twelve Marauder 2 pieces, which I think is enough to have two Marauder 2s now. And the PPC. That's insane. Let's just continue this. I, I don't even know what to say to that. Okay, there's the 6A Dragoons version. So let's see what we get out of that one. And there's the 5D. <laughs> we just picked up <laughs> we just picked up two Marauder 2s. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god. For 28k plus the 13s for so for 41,000 we just picked up two Marauder 2s. Let's repair. We're gonna have to have a look at these things. We don't have the money to fix them right now, but oh my god, that's awesome. Let's have a look at the mech base here. Let's go to base. I don't even know what to say to that. So what's left in this thing? Not a lot. The double plus PPC and, and a slick suite. And then the 6A has got the TC cockpit. Uh, is that endo composite? The 260 engine, heavy PPC, heat bank, regular heat bank. Let's have a look at this guy just to see if that engine is a uh, double heat sink engine. It's a single heat sink engine. That's okay though. <laughs> we got two Marauder 2s. Are you kidding me? That's insane. I don't even know what to say. Alright, well that was a pretty awesome episode. I don't think there's really anything we can do to uh, top that. I keep forgetting there's a little bug with the Marauder 2s. I think it's got to do with the artwork or something. But yeah, so that's uh, that's going to be it for this particular episode. I think the next episode, um, we're definitely going to have to pull off some milk runs to uh, get some cash. So actually, before we get before we leave for the next episode, let's uh, go to navigation real quick here, star map. We're going to move over to uh, Lyrian Commonwealth World. Uh, I think we're going to go here, 13 days away. Um, black market, Comstar presence, um, large population, mega city, pirate presence, recreation, rich, and travel hubs. So there might be a lot of good stuff here. It's a water world too. So, you know, hopefully when we get some missions here, we won't have to worry about our heat problems. So 25,000, just going to travel there real quick. And then when we get there, we're going to have enough time to, uh, pull off some missions, some milk runs to get some, some cash. So our mechs are back up and running. So I'm going to have to figure out, if you guys have some suggestions how to trick out those Marauder 2s, I'm all ears. Uh, besides putting a whole whole whack of PPCs in the arms or, you know, 
ER large lasers or large lasers or something. I don't know. Um, perhaps we could. Oh, the crew's going a little stir crazy. Perhaps they could get a little R and R. Well, we spent a lot of time just sitting around doing nothing, fixing our mechs. So let's throw a party. The fact that we got two Marauder twos. Voodoo's getting the following tags. Drunk. Well, now we got they got something to do while they're waiting for their mechs to come back. So once we get there, hopefully we can get some uh, some good contracts that will give us lots of cash. And for the sake of uh, speeding things up, depending on what the missions are, I might pull a couple missions just off camera real quick just to get some cash. I'll take some uh, missions way below our level and just, just burn through them real fast. Okay, let's have a look at the store and see if there's anything good here. So we got two 100 ton max, man. I don't know what we're going to do with them, but we got two of them. Alright, anything good here? Clan Medium, which we just picked up a couple of those. Streak SRM4s now. Exchangers. Uh, the same old, same old. So, not a lot here. That's okay. Alrighty, everybody. So, that's an awesome episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you like, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And like I said, if you have any suggestions for how to lay out those Marauders, I'm all ears. Just drop it down in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you later.